एवरीवन हाउ यू माय डियर चिल्ड्रन होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूमेरिकल्स टॉपिक इज आर डॉट प्रोडक्ट और यू कैन से स्केलर प्रोडक्ट आई हैव अपलोडेड द वीडियो ऑफ दिस डॉट प्रोडक्ट नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन द वेक्टर ए दैट इज गिवन i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap and vector g b is given minus i cap plus j cap minus 2 cap 2k cap uh, how to solve it let us see see children we know vector a is denoted by ax i cap plus ayj cap plus aj k cap and vector b is denoted by bx i cap plus byj cap and plus bj k cap and already we have discussed the dot product vector a dot vector b will be how much will be ax bx plus ay by plus aj and bj when we will compare this vector a with this vector a then what is your ax so let us write ax will be how much ax will be i cap i cap means ax is 1 then 2 j cap is given over here that means your ay will be how much 2 just compare it then minus k cap here it is aj k cap that means your aj will be how much it is minus 1 similarly if we'll compare this vector b with the vector b over here then what is your bx bx will be nothing but minus 1 then by is nothing but 1 then bj will be how much here it is b z k cap here it is minus 2 k cap so your coefficient that means minus 2 so b z will be minus 2 is it clear children now we will find out what is our a dot b so a dot b will be how much a dot b will be will apply this formula so just multiply a x b x so 1 into Minus one plus a y b y. So a y is two, b y is one. So we'll write over here two into one plus a z b z minus one into minus two. Okay, children. So you will get minus one plus two plus two is equal to three. We have to find the angle between the vectors. so angle what is the formula to find the angle we know cos theta is equal to dot product of two vectors divided by magnitude of the vector a and magnitude of the vector b then how to find out the magnitude of vector a and vector b let us see so magnitude of vector a is how much how much you know magnitude of vector a is how to find out we have to use the ax ay aj and take the square root so you will write right 1 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square square root so how much it is it will be 1 square 1 2 square 4 then minus 1 is 1 so 4 plus 1 plus 1 that means root 6 okay now what is b cap and the magnitude vector b magnitude similarly what will write just r the squares of bx square by square bj square find out and add it and take the square root so minus 1 square then 1 square then minus 2 square so how much you are getting you are getting now root 6 again okay now let us find out the angle theta how to find out the angle theta let me erase the board from off so that you can note it down 
the part just now we have written okay children so let me clear the this much now come over here children so what we'll do we'll write now cos theta is equal to how much so cos theta will be a dot b divided by magnitude of vector a and magnitude of vector b so a dot b a dot b is how much 3 so we'll write now 3 magnitude of vector a is root 6 so here also root 6 that means 3 by 6 that means 1 by 2 so cos theta half which angle is having this half magnitude that is cos 60 degree that means your theta is equal to 60 degree this is your final answer is it clear children this numerical okay please note it down okay let me clear the board then we'll discuss the next question i am trying my best to give the varieties so that it will be helpful for your this board thing and also for entrance now next question next question is find the value of find the value of lambda so that so that the vectors a is given 2 i cap plus lambda j cap plus k cap and vector b is given that is 4 i cap minus 2 j cap minus 2 k cap are perpendicular to each other this thing we have already discussed how to do the numericals or the theory related to this perpendicular thing are perpendicular to each other now we will see it with this example okay now how to find out see children when two vectors are perpendicular to each other that means your when a is perpendicular to b when it will be like you can say uh, when a is perpendicular to b so that means your dot product of the both the vectors will be zero so when both the vectors are perpendicular means their dot product will be zero this is a simple thing and this thing also we have discussed it under the properties of the dot product or you can say scalar product so we'll apply this okay now let us find out the dot product of vector a with vector b easy i'm not repeating again and again all the theory 2 i cap plus lambda j cap plus k cap you can find out what is ax bx and ay by az bz this thing you know these are the simple thing so 4 i cap minus 2 j cap minus 2 k cap it has to be zero if both the vectors are perpendicular to each other clear children so 2 i cap that means 2 i cap 4 i cap so what you will get h ax bx then ay by so ay by means lambda into minus 2 plus az and bz here az means 1 so az means how much 1 into bz is minus 2 so this has to be zero children okay that means 8 minus 2 lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 that means your minus 2 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0 so what we will get we have to find out the value of lambda so that means 2 lambda is equal to 6 okay just rearrange the thing then lambda is equal to how much 6 by 2 that is your 3 this is your final answer children this is the easiest one okay got it 
ओके लेट मी क्लियर द बोर्ड टू गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ विक्टर ए प्लस विक्टर बी इज इक्वल टू मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ विक्टर ए माइनस विक्टर बी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एंगल बिटवीन ए एंड बी हाउ टू डू इट नाउ सी चिल्ड्रेन वट इज गिवेन ए प्लस बी मैग्नीट्यूड इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी मैग्नीट्यूड चिल्ड्रेन नाउ इफ यू स्क्वेर इट दैट मीन्स ए प्लस बी स्क्वेर इज ऑल्सो सेम एस दिस ए माइनस बी स्क्वेर दिज आर प्रॉपर्टीज ओके नाउ वट वी कैन राइट वी कैन राइट ए प्लस बी स्क्वेर दैट मीन्स I can write like this a plus b, then dot product of a plus b again. Okay, here what I can write a minus b. So again the dot product of a minus b. Okay, this thing we can write because you know, na you know this. Square is equal to a dot a. This thing you know. We have already discussed. Okay, children. So now, how to do it? Just expand. Nothing great. So a dot a, a dot b. How you multiply in similar fashion? Because that's why this dot product is very easy. Okay. b dot b is equal to here right hand side a dot a then minus a dot b then minus b dot a plus b dot b just expand it okay we know the a dot b is equal to b dot a this thing we know let me write we know a dot b is equal to b dot a commutative property okay holds good in case of dot product children so now how to do a dot a is here it is a square now a dot b b dot a same so i can write twice of a dot b here b dot b that means b square next similarly a square minus a dot b minus b dot a that means minus 2 a dot b plus b square chit. sorry it is b square okay it is b square now a square a square get cancelled b square b square get cancelled so what we can write take this to ab to this side so what we'll get we'll get four times of a dot b is equal to 0 that means your 4ab cos theta what we can write a dot b na so we can write a dot b is ab cos theta so 4ab cos theta is equal to 0 and we know a and b both are non zero vectors so since a and b are non zero vectors that means this is not zero this is not zero that means cos theta has to be zero so cos theta is equal to zero so cos theta zero means theta is equal to how much tell me children theta will be 90 degree theta is 90 degree cos 90 is zero so finally we got our answer theta is equal to 90 degree 90 degree children so this is the solution okay find the angle between a and b here angle is 90 degree this is your answer children clear then we'll move to the next question now question number 4 as you can see here it is given two vectors unit vectors are there a and b inclined at an angle theta then we have to prove this this is a common question this is a inserted question and you will get it everywhere so let me try See, we know a square is equal to. Just now we have seen in last problem, 
a dot a similar fashion if we'll do like this a minus b unit vector modulus then if i'll take the square then what i'll write over here a minus b dot a minus b then how to expand simply expand the dot product a dot a cap now a cap dot b cap minus b cap dot a cap plus b cap dot b cap so a dot a both are unit vectors that means we will write over here one now a dot b minus b dot a same since it is commutative property okay so we will write now how much minus 2 a dot b cap again plus 1 children understood why i am writing b b dot b cap dot b b cap so this how we are getting one over here how we are getting one over here? let me write if you don't remember the thing i am writing over here see children a cap a cap these are unit vectors and we are taking the dot product of the same vectors so that means as for the formula it is a b cos theta so a will be one since these are unit vectors second vector is also because you are taking the dot product with the same vector so what is the angle between them then it will be zero degree okay cos zero degree so it is one so finally one so that's why we are writing one over here one over here hope it is clear to you okay now 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2a dot b so 2a dot b means 2 a dot b again both are unit vectors so i'll write 1 into 1 into cos theta that is theta is angle between a and b so what we are getting now 2 minus 2 cos theta then i can take two common so i can write 1 minus cos theta what is 1 minus cos theta children do you know i think you know all those things you have studied in class 10 1 let me write over here here 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta okay then 1 minus cos theta will be how much it will be 2 sin square theta by 2 clear so here what i can put now 2 into 2 into 2 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 so what we are getting 4 sin square theta by 2 so this is a minus b square but what do we want we want this a minus b that means we have to take the square root of this so our final answer a minus b modulus will be how much take the square root it will be 2 if i'll take the square root of 4 sin square theta by 2 ka square root okay so my answer will be a here children minus b cap will be how much 2 sin theta by 2 hope it is clear this is your final line clear children okay so let us discuss the next question now our next question is i cap i cap and j cap okay given unit vectors along x and y axis then you have to find out the magnitude and direction of the these two vectors i cap plus j cap and i cap minus j cap then again we have to find out what is the component of the vector this vector is given along this see in the last video we have discussed everything theoretically i have explained all the things i have explained the formula now i'll see or we'll see how we are applying those formulas to solve these questions so how it will become easier if we'll apply those formulas so that means we are now trying to visualize the things the concept 
we have studied in our last lecture okay if you have noted it down please note down the question so that i'll clear the board then we'll solve the uh, this question interesting question it will clear so like you can it will clear your funda whatever you are studying what formula you were using and why you were using this thing will get the clarity if you solve such problems okay so let me clear the board and solve the question please note down the question first now see children first part of the question is given first it is given ki i cap and j cap are unit vectors along x and y axis that means this is your x axis and this is your y axis so i cap is the unit vector along x axis and j cap is the unit vector along y axis we have to find out in first part we have to find out the magnitude and direction of the vector i we have first we will find out the magnitude the magnitude of i cap plus j cap okay how to do we know we can apply directly we can use the formula that means we are interested for this magnitude means modulus so these are unit vector see if i'll do the parallelogram like this so this is your resultant magnitude so that means what how to find out this how to find out this this is 1 1 everything is 1 so this is also 1 so that means what will do will use your pythagoras theorem that is 1 square plus 1 square square root so this is the magnitude of this okay then we have to find the direction of the this then how to find the direction let this i cap plus j cap okay makes an angle theta with this i cap so let the vector i cap plus j cap makes an angle theta with the direction i cap so ask for the formula cos theta will be how much i cap plus j cap again i cap divided by what is the thing what will write i cap plus j cap modulus magnitude are you getting children why i am writing so much see we know cos theta is how much a dot b divided by ab this thing we have studied so i have just applied the same because theta is the let me write over here theta is the angle between i cap plus j cap vector okay with i cap as i have mentioned in the question see children now you know let me complete this then i'll tell you more about this so all these are unit vectors so we'll write one over here okay then i plus j modulus again root 2 again 1 so finally we are getting 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 means cos 45 degree cos 45 degree means theta is equal to 45 degree clear children theta is equal to 45 degree done direction we got hmm okay see another way to look at it children if two vectors suppose this is your vector f and this is another vector f then the resultant vector f r suppose it makes the angle suppose alpha or theta whatever it is the when two equal vectors are there then their resultant okay their resultant will make how much the angle alpha will be suppose this is theta so angle will alpha will be theta by 2 it will just by by bisect the angle between the two vectors so here the resultant vector will bisect the angle between 
the vectors given when the two vectors are equal when two vectors are equal children then their resultant will just bisect the angle given clear as you can see here these are unit vectors so this is 90 degree angle is 90 degree that means this theta this theta has to be 45 degree still i have utilized the formula to get the clarity so you will know how to utilize the formula also clear children without using the formula also immediately oh this is one and this is one both are equal vectors that means this angle will be 45 degree immediately because this is 90 both you need the vector unit vectors will make angle 92 we know all are perpendicular to each other so the angle will be 45 degree this thing also you know na suppose this is the vector the this angle it will make will be positive okay if the, the vector is like this the angle the resultant vector will make the angle in this directions means it is negative children okay clear and i cap plus j cap that means plus j cap what will write 1 i cap plus 1 j cap also that's why i have written like this is it clear the first part we got the magnitude we got the direction now we'll see what is the magnitude and direction of i minus j cap how to do let me clear the board see children i minus j cap we have to find out the second part of the question that is magnitude actually this is the second part of the first question magnitude and direction of i cap minus j cap then how to do see this is i cap x axis okay then minus j cap that means it will be like this minus j cap children so this is i cap and this is j cap in negative y axis that's why minus j cap so your resultant vector will be like this clear children this is your resultant vector now it will make an angle suppose theta over here see immediately you can see it is it will be 45 degree again because one and one and in downward direction what i have told it will be minus 45 degree let us see still with the proper method how to find out this graphically immediately we can make out it will be 45 degree rather minus 45 degree with i cap so now the magnitude so magnitude of i cap j cap is like this it will be 1 square plus minus 1 square take the square root so it will be root 2 so let theta be the angle between i cap minus j cap angle between i cap minus j cap with the direction of i cap okay that means your cos theta will be how much cos theta will be i cap minus j cap dot i cap divided by i cap minus j cap modulus again i cap so it will be 1 by root 2 that is cos 45 degree okay that means your theta is minus 45 degree with i cap children got the answer this is the magnitude and direction of this i minus j cap clear now we'll move to the second part of the question okay let me clear the board second part of the question is you have to find out the component we have to find out the component of a vector b is given 2 i cap plus 3 j cap along the direction of i cap plus j cap then how to find out we have to find out this so let us do the thing 
here b is given b is given 2i cap plus 3j cap children we have to find out the component of vector this then what we have to find out first we have to first find out the unit vector okay we have to first find out we have to first find out we first find the unit vector unit vector along the direction of vector i cap plus j cap how to find out okay let a cap be the because we don't know we have to find out that unit vector along the direction of vector i cap plus j cap okay how to find out the unit vector we know that is vector b divided by magnitude of vector b so vector b is given okay sorry here it is i cap plus j cap sorry let me clear the board okay the formula is how to find out suppose a cap a cap is vector a divided by magnitude of vector b this thing we know we will use this formula over here right now so because we want the unit vector along this so that means i cap plus j cap divided by i cap plus j cap so it will be how much i cap plus j cap then modulus 1 square plus 1 square okay this thing you know i am not wasting your time i cap plus j cap divided by root 2 so you got the unit vector along the direction of this now we need to find out first the magnitude of the uh, component of the vector b first we have to find out what is the magnitude of this vector okay so let me clear the part please remember this note it down children see now we have to find out magnitude magnitude of the component or uh, component vector rather of the magnitude of the component vector children of b vector along i cap plus j cap okay so that means what we have studied in last lecture component of vector b so we will use like this b cap magnitude of the component then this clear children this thing we have studied in our last lecture so b is given 2 i cap plus 3 j cap then what is the unit vector a cap just now we have derived this 1 by root 2 of i cap plus j cap okay so what will write now 1 by root 2 then dot product of this and this so 2 into i cap means 1 okay so that means 2 then 3 into 1 plus 3 normal a dot b formula i am using so that means you, you are getting 5 root 2 so this is the magnitude but finally we want the component of a vector that means final answer will be component of b vector along i plus j vector that means the magnitude that means what will do now the magnitude with the along this 
so that means along that is you need vector along this i plus j cap that is what we have taken assume ki this is a cap only okay so let me clear from the upper part we have to find out this now children so let me clear this is a lengthy problem but it will give the clarity of the concept or the theory or the formula we are studying okay now on the component i'll start from here only ha huh, children so that means your b dot this just now we have derived phi by root 2 okay then a cap what is a cap that is i cap plus j cap divided by root so finally what we are getting phi by 2 of i cap plus j cap so component of vector b along i plus j is this so this is your final answer children please see the video sincerely try to do it on your own if you are not getting go through the videos again and again maybe it will help you to solve the questions and practice this type of problem definitely you are going to get it okay children okay thank you for watching children please take care